the Wii. It's a revolutionary console that helped bring Nintendo out of a run of subpar sales after the first 3D console got crushed by another first 3D console, and the GameCube got stuck behind the PS2. They made a console that revolutionized video games, but have you ever wondered how? What forces of people came together to build this amazing piece of technology? Hey guys, I'm BLCX, and welcome to a new Nintendo video! Today, Nintendo is a huge company that has been around for 130 years. It has faced both ups and downs and gone through many changes, but the Wii is a console that heavily impacted both Nintendo and the video game industry as a whole. Kirby and I have done the research over the years, and the Wii tells quite an interesting tale. It all started with the idea of a pilot, Tom Quinn. Quinn founded a company called Gyration back in 1989, and began inventing a new form of gyroscope technology for aircrafts in 1999. While that idea didn't come to life, he later had the idea to use his technology as a video game controller. In 2001, Quinn landed an interview with then-CEO of Microsoft, Steve Ballmer. Although Ballmer loved the idea, the Xbox team wasn't too happy with it. Actually, uh, <laughs> that's an understatement. To be more accurate, the Xbox team hated the idea so much and was so rude to Quinn, an executive apologized to him in person. The meeting went so terribly that one of the executives came over to me afterwards and apologized on behalf of others. Uh, so, with Microsoft out of the way, Quinn switched over to Japanese game development and went over to Nintendo Sony to pitch his idea. He managed to meet with the father of PlayStation, Ken Kutaragi, to pitch his idea. According to Quinn, Kutaragi literally closed his eyes throughout the whole pitch, then inquired whether the technology could be produced for 50 cents. 50 cents. 50 cents! So let me get it straight, first the Xbox team were all rude and kicked him out, and then Sony is so cheap that they can't make video game technology for more than a buck? Well, as you might expect, Quinn left again, because it was impossible. Of course it wasn't possible! It's a video game console! Why do you think they cost so much? I'm very proud to announce that PlayStation 4 will be available at $399. And guess what? They decided to rip the Wii off five years later with the PlayStation Move, uh, which by the way sold only 15% of what the Wii sold. Anyway, with Microsoft and Sony both rejecting the idea, Nintendo accepted it in September of 2001, the same month the GameCube launched. They started work on a prototype controller commissioned by Nintendo. Nintendo wanted Gyration to keep the button layout of the GameCube and inspire the way to play your games with one or two hands, much like Joy-Con today. They came up with a unique controller design called the Gyropod. The controller was nearly symmetrical, with the right controller being slightly larger and able to break off. But after many, many redesigns, the Wiimote, or Wii Remote, came to be. While discussing the Wii's development, former Nintendo president Satoru Iwata instructed his team to make the Wii no thicker than a stack of two DVD cases put together. In fact, the design goals for the Wii were very specific. Nintendo had to think carefully on how to design the console, because its motion controls were, of course, brand new. But through all the redesigns, one thing remained. The console was controlled by motion. At E3 2005, Iwata iconically revealed the Wii to the world. Iwata said the words, And now you say, you want a revolution. Well, we've got one. Before pulling the Wii out of his jacket pocket, showing off its small size and lightweight. Actually, if we want to get technical here, we could say he showed off the Nintendo Revolution, as it was known to the public at the time. One year later, the world got a better glimpse of the Wii with the reveal of Wii Sports, Super Mario Galaxy, and even Wii Music. And let's not forget Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Ah, I'm burning to death! The world waited patiently, as shows like South Park showed off their excitement for the new console, until finally, on November 19, 2006, the Wii launched in stores, and it was huge. Unlike the other consoles being released by Microsoft and Sony, the Wii was targeted with broader appeal, to be enjoyed by people of all ages. The strategy worked, and the numbers speak for themselves. Today, it is the sixth best-selling console of all time, with over 100 million units sold. A happy end to our story. Don't even get me started on the Wii U. Or do! If you do want me to do a video on the Wii U's creation, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, or me, 
I assume it's me, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Discord, or my other YouTube channels, Luked in Films and Let's Play with Power. Tonsagasa!